604 North Quincy in Sedalia. Uh, driveway's got quite a few cracks in it. Huge tree here in the front yard. It's losing a few limbs there on the roof and stuff you can see. Uh, neighborhood is a little iffy. Give you a shot. You got some homes like that one there on the corner. Seems to be pretty well taken care of. This one here seems to be pretty agey. And you can just kind of see there. And there's the one just to the north of it right there. Okay, we're going to walk around the house. Siding damage here, which is not a big deal. There's a shed in the back. Yards appears to be fenced pretty well. Nice, nice chain of fence. Patios cracked up pretty good. The upper patio seems to be in good shape. Air conditioner over there, central air unit, and the uh, access to the crawl space. Might show you the back door. It looks like they've put a new door in there, and it's smaller than the original hole. So they've blown, blown that or sprayed that stuff in there that expands that orange stuff. I prefer to put the right size door in. This uh, vegetation here just needs to be cleared out. We'll go on around this side. It does have a sewer clean out, which I like to see that. There's a walkthrough gate on each side of the house, which is nice. And then this is the north side of the house. Like it's in decent shape. Gutters look like they're in pretty good shape. The gas meter over there. Okay, this is coming through the front door. Living room here. Nice big doorway there. I don't know if you can tell it, but the floor is very uh, slanted, tilted, got a hump in it. Settled out foundation, I suspect. This front door will not come open any further than that without really forcing it. So we're, we've got quite a, quite a little deal there as far as being uneven. And this do doorway leads into sort of a, I kind of guess this would be the dining area. It has a little ceiling fan there up above. And off of it, there is a little utility room, furnaces in there, water heater, furnace, washer and dryer hooks up, although that, that uh, washer drain there does not look like it's big enough. All the fuse boxes. And then there's that backyard, you can see through there where that shed was. And the kitchen. I don't know if you can tell it, but it's it's also got a pretty good slant to it. Ceiling fan in there. Off of the kitchen there's the one car garage. Looks like it has a garage door opener. I didn't try it. Don't want to get it open and not be able to get it closed. Okay, so here's a hall. I can feel quite a little rundown up and down up and down hills here. There's the uh, bathroom. That door's obviously had quite a few holes in it, been patched. The bathroom has a shower only. Like it's a step in shower, good size, big. Stool, lavatory. 
walls have all got patch holes on them. This door here in one of the bedrooms has got multiple holes in that. This is the smallest of the two bedrooms. Looks like they uh, have a pretty good size walk-in closet though. That's kind of nice. But everything is is up and down rolling the humps in the floors and stuff. This is the larger of the two bedrooms and it has quite a large, I doubt if you can tell it there, but quite a large hump right here in the middle of it. Looks like it has wooden single pane windows with uh, storm windows on the outside. This one has a good deep closet in it. Also, yeah. kitchen does have a real nice amount of cabinets in it, older style cabinets, but uh, it has this corner range in it, kind of a cooktop thing, and then a built-in oven above the range. Well, that's kind of nice. But that's it. I'll get this sent to you and take a look.